so easy. Oh. Um, what they're trying to catch students out on They're trying to see which students remember to put their calculator into radian mode. Yeah. And um, what is the integration of cost sign? So that's sine pi minus sine zero. Isn't it? Uh, is it zero? It is zero. What does your answer indicate? Well, if you graph cos x, uh, what this zero means is that the area here is the same as the area here. Now, I think that's a very, very stupid question. Um, it is though, it is stupid um, and I do wonder what it said in the marking scheme if they have a marking scheme let me have a look so I think what it's saying is that the area above the axis and below the axis is the same for cost hmm uh, no, not quite. That if you wanted the area, you would have to split it into two problems, because what's happening is the top area is cancelling the bottom area. Now, I I don't even know for certain if that's the answer they're looking for, and there's only one mark as well. Yeah, the area on the top is the same as the area on the bottom. They're equal. Yeah, the total is double the top or the bottom. You could say it like that as well. Let's have a look at the marking scheme if I have it. And um, while that's just loading there, the next one is a triangle. So I'm going to say the area above the x-axis equals the area below the x-axis. Now, let's see what they have, if they have anything here. Syllabus, IFY, maths all streams, maths exemplar exam, uh, maths test, and marking scheme. Okay, this which number was this? B B four. Equal areas are above and below the x axis. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Is there any other answers I need to check? Um no, these all look the same, yeah. That looks the same. That's our tree, okay. And that's all fine. There's the graph, beautiful. Um, yep, yeah, that's okay. 
that's okay. Yeah, okay, so far everything is okay. Right, so let's continue then. Now, the triangle, um, what are we asked for first? Find the angle P. So it's 12, 14, 15. Twelve, fourteen, fifteen, and they want the angle here at P. What rule could I use to get that angle? It has to be cosine rule. So you would say fifteen squared equals twelve squared plus fourteen squared minus twice twelve fourteen cos P. Uh, is the angle acute or obtuse? Um, I think it's probably acute, less than 90, because this triangle is almost equilateral. See, 12, 14, 15, they're nearly the same. Um, I think the, all three angles are acute, less than 90. Uh, let's see what we get here. So when I solve this, um, try it again, 15 squared minus 12 squared minus 14 squared divided by minus 2 times 12 times 14 cos inverse. So I get, oh my goodness, I'm in radiant mode. I think we're using degrees here. Oh, they don't say. So actually, you could use radians for your answer if you wanted to. What did people use here? Let's see what they did in the marking scheme. I would accept radians, though, for this one as well. Yeah, they took degrees. You get 70 degrees as well? Yeah, so when you... Sub this in, you get cos P will equal 15 squared minus 12 squared minus 14 squared divided by minus 2 divided by 12. Cos P is 115 over 336. So P is 69.98. Yeah, so 70 degrees. And then the next part, part two, is um, find the shortest distance from Q to P or. So find this distance here. Now the way I like to do this one, and it's not the only way to do it, but the way I like to do this is by area. So in my head I can flip the triangle around so that the 14 is on the base, and the 12 and the 15 are on the side here. And I know that the angle between the 12 and the 14, I know that this is 70 degrees. So I can get the area as a half, 12, 14, sine 70. So my area is 78.93. But we have another formula for area. The other formula for area is a half the base by the height should be 78.93. And in this way I can get the height, which is the length, the distance they're looking for. So times 2 divided by 14. So I got height is 11.3 units. Now let me see what they have here for the answer. Uh, 11.3 centimeters? Oh yeah, centimeters. 
so centimeters. Now that's only one way to do it. There are other ways to do it as well. And um, for example, somebody might have said, "Well, why don't I just use, you know, the right angle triangle here, um, and I call this H." So we could use, for example, sine 70 will equal h over 12. So you could say h is 12 sine 70. So if you type in 12 sine 70, you get the same answer. So I mean, there's more than one way to do this one. I like doing it using area. I don't know why, I just do. Um, next. Right, so we have tan 2 theta equals, is that root 3? Tan 2 theta equals minus 1 over root 3. And theta is between 0 and 2 pi. How many answers? Should I have how many answers? Four, yeah. Should have four answers. So first we'll do our inverse step. Two theta is tan inverse one over root three. Now I should use radians here, not degrees, because of the angle. So I'll put my calculator back in radians. Oh wait, it's minus root three, isn't it? Sorry minus root 3. So that's minus pi over 6. What's the second answer for tan? Do you remember? How do you get the second answer for tan? Add 180. So if I add pi to this I get 5 over 6 pi. Now that's only two answers. How many answers should I have? Four. So how do I make the extra two answers? I add 2 pi to these. So my four answers are minus pi over 6, 5 over 6 pi, uh, 17 over 6 pi, and this one here was 11 over 6 pi. Next, after I get my extra answers, what do I do? I simplify, so what do I need to do here? Divide by 2. So theta equals minus pi over 12, 5 pi over 12, 11 pi over 12, 17 pi over 12. And the final step is to fix any answers. What answer do I need to fix? Which one? Must be the first one is the problem. I fix it by adding 2 pi to it. So I get theta equals 5 pi over 12, 11 pi over 12, 17 pi over 12 and 23 pi over 12. These are the four answers here. Um, tan inverse minus 1 over root 3 on my calculator gave it to me. Oh, wait. Is it given to you as a decimal? No. You need a you need a good calculator like this one. Yeah. Um, okay. There's one part left here. Uh, part D. A is acute and sine A is nine over forty one. What is the value of cos A? Right. Oh. Right. So. Sine A is 9 over 41, so that means the opposite is 9 and the hypotenuse is 41. So by using Pythagoras I can get this side. What does it work out as? 40. 
So then what does cosine equal? Two marks only. Okay. Uh, right, that was number um, that was number four. Okay, so we'll have a look at uh, five now. Uh, a farmer. Okay, so let me just 